everyone, this is Ariel Royalty and we are back for Let's Play Skyrim episode 246. Last time we completed Served Cold and as a reward for saving his life and among other things, Councillor Morvane gave us Severin Manor and we're going to decide what to do next. So now we have citizenship of Ravenrock. Melor over at the Ienth farm should be still mixing potions if you're seeking that sort of thing. Far west end of town. So this is our house. I did show it off in the last episode, I believe. But, I figured out what else I can put away in here, so. It's so dark though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mannequins are glitched. They tend to move because they're not very well wrote. The scripts that keep them in place, at least. Now, where's that bookshelf over there? and I'd be able to put them in. Guess not. What did I put in here? Ah, letters. Okay. Can I do anything to get rid of my carryways? Yes, I can. Now, did I enchant this armor? It's been a few days since I recorded last. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's helped at least. Can I enchant anything? Not really. It's 
expect to win it. Okay, so we don't actually have that many quests left to do. So, I'm gonna summon all that. See if the blacksmith can take some of my junk. Then we'll do the next quest on my list. Now I don't think we'll be able to do healing house. I mean, I'm just gonna skip that. So the next ones, uh, not that many left. Then it'll be back to the main story of the game. Taking a wife, because I already have a wife, and I wouldn't want to make her jealous. Oh, and what is her name, this secret wife of yours? Her name is Ford. I'll be silent before she hears you and becomes angry. <laughs> He's married to his work. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Here to think what would have happened if you take a look. Yeah, I can run. You that you were able to save Falcon. I admit, I wasn't ready to become a How are you holding up? It's rough out here, but I'm getting by. Not everyone was built for this kind of life. There's no shame in that. I can handle it. Just wish there was more meat as well. Thanks for taking that thing down. We're supposed to be warriors, not crafters. What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. The Mead Hall, up there on the hill. We were... Some reeklings have taken it over. With tenacity and numbers. It didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much mead. Too many stories. Too few battles. Are you offering to help? Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. Well, let's move then. Hey, you lazy milk drinkers, get over here. I know you're all starting to settle in here. 
and keep up the fat lives you got used to up in the hall. But look here. This outsider has more fire than any of you. All I had to do was mention our little infestation, and she volunteered in a second. I don't want to have my spirit outstripped by some wanderer, so let's get up there and kill us some reeklings. Now you can side with the reeklings in this one, but I'm going this path. I look away for a second and I end up running into a rock. Never should have. Control! <laughs> okay, let's re enchant our weapon for one. That was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? Good to hear. In fact, that's just the spirit I'll need from my second. Do you want to come with me? My second. If we're going to take up residence here again, I need to get the blessing of Rothmund again. I'll need a witness and, well, you see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? Well, let's not waste time talking about it then. Sorry about that. Alarm. Let Come on now, no time for chatter. It's still a bit early in the day for me, so that was one of my alarms to get me up. Let's just keep moving. Okay, where is it? Oh, 
Or is it just follow her? is it? Are you ready to go inside? The burial place of Rothmund, who founded Thursk. He brought a group of true warriors away from the soft life of the Skal, to know the wilderness, to feel the sting of cold and of steel. I know that sounds a little silly. It's just the way it's written in the books, and that phrase has always stuck with me. It's pretty simple. Rothmund's axe is in there with him. Anyone who attempts to take hold of it has their spirit judged by Rothmund himself. No, no, nothing like that. He doesn't need to battle us to know us. He's always watched over Thursk and sees us from beyond. And in my case, since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. But really, all you need to do is watch. Let's not waste any time, then. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Okay, let's turn off any future alarms, so I don't get disturbed again. Oh, that was my last one, okay. to 
yourself when you get up early to record, make sure you turn off your alarms. Okay. Dark, creepy tomb. Okay, this is where we get to make a bit of a choice. There it is. So I just need to take hold of it. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thirsk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujold. You blessed me in the past, and now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched, and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. You allowed your fellow warriors to grow weak, while the dangers around you mounted. Then, the leadership is not mine? No. Nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness, it is better to have no leader than a poor one. That was a little embarrassing. Ashamed, but I guess that was the point. I need to return to Thursk. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader, and I'm still the best person for that. And look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. He gave his blessing to all the leaders who brought us to this point. Anyway, he's dead and we're alive. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thursk, and I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. Okay, I'm gonna keep quiet. Good. See that you do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a hall to lead. Now. I'm gonna do something else. Hello. That will help us with this quest. We can ensure that she doesn't lead by well. We have enough problems around here without having to build that elastic thing outside. Thanks for helping us make up. So we're gonna return to First Maid and I will show you how we can ensure that she won't leave. That was built in a month. <laughs> you can learn a bit more about it in Morrowind and Oblivion. But Jolt says you served well. Before we were married, I was her second on the first trip to the Barrow. Rothman knows strength, in this world and the next. I don't think you know how dangerous it is to say what you've just said. This is a serious accusation. I'm sure Bajold can straighten it out for us. Bajold, your second claims that Rothman did not yield a blessing to you. Is that true? My second would do well to keep her mouth shut. So, you don't deny this. Kuvar, listen to me. You said yourself that this place had lost sight of its past. We need a new tradition to move us forward. Instead of listening to a ghost in a tomb, we should steer our own destinies. Your words carry some wisdom. But if you truly believed in the spirit of Thursk, you would have spoken them honestly. 
Instead, you hid your shame. Who are I? Just... I can't even look at you right now. Get out of here. Run to the wilds. Kuvar, I'm your wife. You can't. And so I feel your shame all the more deeply. When it's time, we will seek you out. Until then, go and attempt to earn your honor in the old ways. Getting a little antsy. We have nothing to say to each other. You don't look so good. Are you feeling all... Huh? Need something? Apparently I'm ill. Yes? Just one more mug of mead, and then I'm off. I can't believe Kuvar would do that. To his own wife. I'll head out looking for her eventually. We'll wander the wilderness together. Just have to get some things in order here first. To tell you the truth, I've been a little distracted. I've got this... idea. I want to make a reminder, so we never forget what happened the last time we got solved. I want to ring the whole hall with their little spears, mocking us from the past, making us work harder, fight better. The only problem is, I'm gonna need a lot of spears. A lot. So if you could find a bunch of them for me, that would make it easier. Fifty! Right, then. You want fifty spears? Um. Need something? Serana, how Anything many do good? you have on you? Reiklin, Reiklin. 128. <laughs> Once Halbrun's done sharpening my blade. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Give him here, and I'll get to work soon. Uh, yeah, mm hmm. Keep away from me. So now we have ensured that Bjold doesn't lead. But unfortunately now everyone in the first Mead Hall is kinda not liking us. But you know what? I don't care. Cause if we agree, told her straight up that we weren't gonna keep it secret, uh, she would have attacked us. Which is not a smart idea. Now, next one on this list. Okay, but this one we have to be prepared to lose. Um, 11 grand. How much money do I have on me? 12 grand. I think. Who's there? Oh, yeah. This happens if you're part of the dark. Box. Let me 
first. Whoops. Return to Raven Rock and ditch some stuff. Another mouth to feed. Technically, it's two mouths to feed because I brought Serana. Do you need something? All right, let's see what you have. Now I'm going to take stuff. Okay. Old active spot. Ruins, even older than I am. I wonder if the Draugr are as gullible as they were when I was a girl. Sarah? Who told you that? Was it Geldis? I told that idiot not to send me anymore. Uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. The name's Rollis. Rallis Sidaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here and the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you could think. You think I've got that kind of money? No. I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand symptoms on this. Takes money to make money and all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Thank you. 
Why are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details about an arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Hmm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. Okay, now we're gonna do a waiting game. So we're going to go to Tilmifrin to do that. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Okay, three days. Not much to say otherwise. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Then we fast travel to another settlement and well, we should get a message. fan of the sun. It would be better than this. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Ravenrock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Can't thank you enough for reopening me. You succeeded where I failed by ending the threat to cancer. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine, making sure that. And with Solstein crawling with reavers, and I've known the councillor since we were both quite young. We rose the ranks in House Redoran together. When word arrived in Blacklight that the councillor's father had passed, I was asked to sail to Raven Rock with him as his second. It meant. Passing on better opportunities at home. 
but I didn't want to leave his side. We fought quite a few battles together and saved each other's lives on more than one occasion. Our bond is our strength. We've always been at each other's side, and nothing will ever change that. I'm pleased I was mistaken about you, sir. You got a good thing going here now that you take a look. Bring your weapons and armor to me. Okay, how are we doing on time? I'll fix it up right. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will return to Colby on Barrow and see how Radis is doing. Until then, take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Goodbye!